wanted to show you this awesome song that I'm listening to. I'm just sitting in the lounge about to do my hair, blow dry my hair, uh, and do a face mask as well. No, no face mask. Scrub my face with this new Vanity Planet brush that I got. So I'll show you that one. This is the new uh, face, face cleansing brush that I brought. It is called Vanity Planet. So I got the purple one. There's three different options. I think it's blue, purple, and pink. This is what it includes. So we have the actual holder brush handle thing. And then we have a, the little fluffy head. That goes on it so that one's a fluffy one um, I don't actually know the difference between these two apart from the fact that that one's gray that one's black and I'll just go grab the other one all right so this one here is like a silicone head so this is the one that I use all the time I leave it in the bathroom I've used these fluffy ones before and they get gross really fast and don't really work as good so I use this one and it feels so nice as well. So yeah, you just grab that, clip it on, um, and then get whatever face cleanser you use. I'm using one from the body shop at the moment. I'll go grab that as well, because I left that in the bathroom. Okay, so this is the one that I use. It is the body shop vitamin E cream cleanser. And it smells so nice. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like a, like a rose sort of smell. It says all skin types, which is great because I have very sensitive skin. Oh, it's so fresh, it's good. So yeah, I just grab this and a bit of this. There we go, just like so. Cool, so there is two different settings as well. There's like a softer one and or a slower one and a fast one so i use the faster one just softly rub it around everywhere you can so i just went and washed it off with a bit of water in a flannel um and now i put this on the nivea soft so i have used this for like years I think I just put way too much on then. Good. So yeah, that's uh, all I do for my face. So I'll leave a link to this. So I used this in my hair before as well, um, but I didn't show you. It is the DNA Hair Relaxant Professional Hair Tools. So I found that living over in Australia the water has made my hair so dry and not as well uh, soft and moisturized and healthy feeling as it used to. So I found this, um, I don't know how much it cost, I got it from the hairdresser, uh, but it says anti-frizz, straightening aid, curling aid, special feature ingredients are essential oils of almond, grapefruit, lavender, basil, sweet orange and lemongrass. Good. protects hair against straightening techniques, helps control uh, the curls and adds softness, shine and flexibility, which is exactly what I need. Alright, so today uh, is two weeks till our trip to uh, the UK and Europe and I'm so excited. So I found my suitcase. There it is. So I'm going to try and get that down and do a practice pack because I like to be organized, you know. So yeah, wish me luck. Last time I used this is when I moved to Adelaide. Now we're going to the UK. <laughs> Woo! All I can say right now is I 
pray to God there's no spiders in here. Oh, Jesus. There could be anything in this suitcase. Also, when I moved over to Adelaide, I brought myself a new little uh, luggage tag from Typo. So it's just plain black, a little bit dirty now. Uh, but now we've upgraded, guys. I've got a C on it. Yes. That's how it goes. Typo, number one. Woohoo! Number one travel tips from your gal who's never travelled before. Also, just another tip is um, if you've got a boring black, actually, that's not too boring, but if you've got a black suitcase and everyone else's is black, stick something like this on it. That way, you know it's going to be yours and you don't take the wrong suitcase. So, this just shows how organised I am that about a week ago, which would be three weeks until we leave. I wrote out a little checklist of all the things we need and I have little tick boxes because again that just shows how damn organized I am. Woo! because in reality I don't have too many clothes so I don't have such a big problem with deciding but um yeah just thought I could show you what I'm gonna bring um, on my holiday so first thing is this Adidas uh, rain coat throw over thing um, this one is my blue Kathmandu rain jacket windbreaker jacket waterproof jacket. There's a sleeveless vest, black knitted jumper from Factory. Nothing too special about it. Oh, that did not work. This here is a silk dressing gown thing from Cotton On Body. Right, um, bras, let's not go into depth with those. Oh, this is a cute top. It is a white singlet with little smiley faces. Oh, it's from Kmart. Uh, from Factory. So the same place as the knit jumper. I got this black skin tight top. Uh, turtleneck. Yeah, it's like a skibby. That's the word, a skibby. Oh, cute. So yeah, I brought that. Um, this jacket, black jacket, it zips up and has buttons as well. There, um, I think that was 40 bucks and it doesn't really keep me warm, but it's good for fashion. Um, okay, so this is a black t-shirt from Zara. Have not yet taken the tag off. It was $12.95, such a bag. Um, it's stretchy and it's a little bit see-through which is unfortunate, but you know, it's 2018 now, guys. We can do whatever we want. Gray hoodie with white little dangly bits. Whoop. Um, it says, probably can't see it, but it says, get lost. Huh? I think that's so funny. I love it. So yeah. Um, denim shorts. The Zara top. Haven't taken the tag off. $12.95. Um, this one. Adidas t-shirt tights. These are so good. Cotton on body. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure you can get tights there for like 30 bucks and they are so comfortable. Green and grey on the bottom and they're super tight which is needed. It's needed. Let me tell you. Pajama pants I'm gonna bring. These pants. So I brought these. I brought two pairs. Two pairs, different pattern. 
uh, I wanted to buy pants that weren't jeans. So this is what I got. Uh, and these ones are the exact same, but they're white with floral patterns. Oh, pajama shorts, pajama shorts, because I always overheat at night. So yeah, for those days that aren't negative seven, I'll probably wear these. They are from the warehouse. These ones are from Peter Alexander. They are so cute, black and pink, all you need. Love them. Oh, another bra. And the rest is socks. So I'm gonna show you what cute patterns I have on these ones. They cost me like $14 each. Nike, little Nike too. These are CCC ah uh, shorts, CCC socks. Put them together. It looks like they're kissing. Ah, plain pink. Um, stripes. More stripes. Have paw prints on them. Or oh, polka dots on them. Um, red with little kitties and lastly grey and pink this one says ah, boo and this one has a little ghost on it ah, it's a ghost with red cheeks how cute is that um, I've also got a pack shoes undies I just realized I forgot those but that's all right um, yeah so shoes uh, probably a hat gloves all my toiletries and hair stuff body stuff um, yeah books pens camera chargers laptop phone wallet passport money actually today we also brought one of those little pouches. I'll go grab it. It's one of those little pouches. It keeps all your money in it. So no one's gonna steal it. Because I heard from a few people that London and Paris are quite quite well known for their pickpocketers. It's got a few zips on it and the strap. So if we just give it a wee test run. Put that in there. Whoop! Oh, so yeah, you just hide that under. Oh, nobody will even know. How cool is that? So yeah. And Chris and I are going to bring a carry-on backpack with us each too. So that we can have day packs. And we're taking a tour, uh, just a one day tour, to Bath and the Stonehenge. Is that what it's called? Uh, through Anderson Tours. So hopefully they serve us well we've heard good things so far so yeah that's all we've got planned um we're gonna go see some of chris's friends we're gonna go see some of my friends uh it's chris's birthday on the day we go to harry potter world so that'll be exciting he's so excited to buy a wand which is typical chris so um yeah i think that might be it thought i'd update you on my funny snack for the night milk and grapes <laughs> And magazines and frozen. How can you go wrong? These are so good. Oh, Demi! I really want to see this, but I don't know if it's a movie or not. But it's about Demi and her life behind the scenes. Juicy, like these grapes. Yeah.